Hello folks, it's the Siggy. I want to talk today about uh, some information that Gameloft have just posted. And this is in relation to the Faction Glory reset. Um, there's a couple of things. I mean, number one, uh, almost 70% of those that responded uh, voted for Faction Reset. I did. I suppose I'm I'm lucky in the fact that I do have um, some information um, where Game Off helped me towards my videos. But I did see that um, having faction glory would be essentially irrelevant come the new update, which incidentally is coming out mid-April is the latest statement and it appears from World at Arms from Gameloft that it's going to come out on all three operating systems at once so well we'll leave that in abeyance and wait and see now let me just drag this uh, Facebook page over for you guys onto this screen um, the Faction Glory reset for update 20 appears now to be dependent upon uh, the league that you as a faction are in. Okay. So I'm just going to concentrate here on the, the general league. If you want to look at the other leagues, please do so uh, via Facebook. But we get... Uh, nine let's have a look one two three four five six seven sorry eight like mech units or you know certainly high units and six of each it seems now I've got a couple of uh, thoughts on this I've got a couple of thoughts number one if I was to look at every single faction that is in Generals League, if you give everybody in that faction the same revo rewards, is, not, is that not the same as giving every faction no rewards? For example, I, like me, try and explain don't get me wrong you know I like the idea of getting all these units but and let me put world at arms back on if I look on um, our league table in the particular league that the the shizzle are in um, I know it goes higher than 42,000 I can't remember by how much but basically, the shizzle at 32,277 are getting 8 times 6 mech units. Hmm. Now, who will that help? It will make me no better off if I was to go to Ve Victus and try and fight them. Um, but as I scroll down and I think well this is general league it only needs 16,000 uh, glory to get into this league that's faction glory of course so I scroll down here and I'm going to make some faction almost famous now this is no disrespect to any of these guys here. We've all been in that position. We're all moving up. Well, let's have a look. At number 98. Somebody who's just got into within our league on General League. Into here with 16,035 glory. Uh, 96 attacks one. 68 defences. That's good. Peacemaker. Now that's a force to be reckoned for. 
in the future, I think. Um, 165 attacks one, and 190 defense. Wow. That is good odds. And that is a very strengthened base type faction by the, by the seams of things. I'm not going to go into this anymore. But, okay, I get me, the Siggy, within the shizzle, I get nine, oh sorry, eight of these, uh, or eight different mech units, six of each. But, and again, this is with, you know, nobody that I'm identifying here. But it also means, here we go, let's have a quick look. And again, I've got to stress, I'm not picking on anybody here. But I've just seen a General Lauren. Where's that? General Lauren. She's got 1,533 glory. Again, not a problem. I'm going to assume she's new. I say it's she. Lauren. Oak picture. Not sure. We'll have a look at General Lauren's profile. It's somebody who's level 26. Um, a glory rating of 1533. Constructed 137 power ups. I think a lot of us do that daily. Just to give you an idea, as I say, it's nothing against General Lauren. But, General Lauren will get the same rewards as me. Which will make her, amongst her peers, against people at the same sort of level, absolutely incredibly strong, being able to battle them. Yet, you know, she could, she could do a direct fight with the Siggy. And I'm not brilliant, but... Where am I? I'm not brilliant, but where am I? I've got just shy of 30,000 glory. Um, I've won a few attacks. Some have done more, some have done less. But now we're on an equal playing field. Now perhaps I'm, there's something I'm not understanding here. I would suggest a lot of people up at this end of the the leaderboard have spent a lot of time, the old blood, sweat and tears, getting to the position that they are. I've spent certainly spent a fortune. You know, and although I do get lazy now and again, and I'm just level, I don't know, whatever I am. Uh, what did it say on there? What am I? Am I? Oh, 72. Yeah, because I'm a lazy git. Um, so I'm level 72, and General Lauren, who's 26, theoretically speaking, she's getting the same rewards that I am, despite the amount of money I've spent on the game and how long I've played it. I don't know. Certainly in the political world sharing all the wealth out makes a lot of sense to some people. But in my world if you fought for something and got it by fair means I hasten to add surely you should keep that. Maybe I have maybe I have read it wrong. And maybe what they're gonna do is it's on glory. So for example somebody on almost thirty thousand glory in recognition of the work that they've put in would get more rewards 
than somebody who happens to join a bigger faction but has only got 1500 glory I'm not sure do me a favour guys please let me know in the comments try and explain it to me am I seeing this wrong is it fair is it not fair you tell me guys thank you very much for watching goodbye